Ghent, Dutch, Gent, NT, listen, French, Gand, listen, is a city and a municipality in the Flemish region of Belgium. It is the capital and largest city of the East Flanders province, and the third largest municipality in Belgium, after Antwerp and Brussels. The city originally started as a settlement at the confluence of the rivers Scheldt and Ley and in the late Middle Ages became one of the largest and richest cities of Northern Europe, with some 50,000 people in 1300. It is a port and university city. The municipality comprises the city of Ghent proper and the surrounding suburbs of Afsny, De Steldonk, Drongen, Gentbrugge, Lederberg, Mariakirk, Mendonk, Ostaka, Sint Amandsberg, Sint Denegés Westrum, Sint Cruis Winkel, Wundelgem, and Svinard. With 262,219 inhabitants at the beginning of 2019, Ghent is Belgium's second largest municipality by number of inhabitants. The metropolitan area, including the outer commuter zone, covers an area of 1205 square kilometers, 465 square miles, and has a total population of 560,522 as of the 1st of January 2018, which ranks it as the fourth most populous in Belgium. The current mayor of Ghent, Matthias de Klerk, is from the Liberal and Democratic Party Open VLD. The 10-day long Ghent festival in Dutch is held every year and attended by about 1 to 1.5 million visitors. Topic: History. Archaeological evidence shows human presence in the region of the confluence of Scheldt and Ley going back as far as the Stone Age and the Iron Age. Most historians believe that the older name for Ghent, Ganda, is derived from the Celtic word Ganda, which means confluence. Other sources connect its name with an obscure deity named Gonsha. There are no written records of the Roman period, but archaeological research confirms that the region of Ghent was further inhabited. When the Franks invaded the Roman territories from the end of the 4th century and well into the 5th century, they brought their language with them and Celtic and Latin were replaced by Old Dutch. <inaudible> <inaudible> Middle Ages Around 650, St. Amund founded two abbeys in Ghent, St. Peter's and St. Barvo's Abbey. Around 800, Louis the Pious, son of Charlemagne, appointed Einhard, the biographer of Charlemagne, as abbot of both abbeys. The city grew from several nuclei, the abbeys and a commercial centre. However, both in 851 and 879, the city was plundered by the Vikings. Within the protection of the county of Flanders, the city recovered and flourished from the 11th century, growing to become a small city-state. By the 13th century, Ghent was the biggest city in Europe north of the Alps after Paris, it was bigger than Cologne or Moscow. Within the city walls lived up to 65,000 people. The belfry and the towers of the St. Barvo Cathedral and St. Nicholas Church are just a few examples of the skyline of the period. The rivers flowed in an area where much land was periodically flooded. These rich grass water meadows. A word related to the English marsh were ideally suited for herding sheep, the wool of which was used for making cloth. During the Middle Ages Ghent was the leading city for cloth. The wool industry, originally established at Bruges, created the first European industrialized zone in Ghent in the High Middle Ages. The mercantile zone was so highly developed that wool had to be imported from Scotland and England. This was one of the reasons for Flanders' good relationship with Scotland and England. Ghent was the birthplace of John of Gaunt, Duke of Lancaster. Trade with England but not Scotland suffered significantly during the Hundred Years' War. <laughs> Early modern period The city recovered in the 15th century, when Flanders was united with neighbouring provinces under the Dukes of Burgundy. High taxes led to a rebellion and eventually the Battle of Gavir in 1453, in which Ghent suffered a terrible defeat at the hands of Philip the Good. Around this time the centre of political and social importance in the Low Countries started to shift from Flanders -Ghent to Brabant Antwerp -Brussels, although Ghent continued to play an important role. With Bruges, the city led two revolts against Maximilian of Austria, the first monarch of the House of Habsburg to rule Flanders. 
In 1500, Juana of Castile gave birth to Charles V, who became Holy Roman Emperor and King of Spain. Although native to Ghent, he punished the city after the 1539 revolt of Ghent and obliged the city's nobles to walk in front of the emperor barefoot with a noose Dutch strop around the neck. Since this incident, the people of Ghent have been called stropendragers, noose bearers. Saint Barvo Abbey, not to be confused with the nearby Saint Barvo Cathedral, was abolished, torn down, and replaced with a fortress for royal Spanish troops. Only a small portion of the abbey was spared demolition. The late 16th and the 17th centuries brought devastation because of the Eighty Years' War. The war ended the role of Ghent as a centre of international importance. In 1745, the city was captured by French forces during the War of the Austrian Succession before being returned to the Empire of Austria under the House of Habsburg following the Treaty of aix la chapel in 1748, when this part of Flanders became known as the Austrian Netherlands until 1815, the exile of the French Emperor Napoleon I, the end of the French Revolutionary and later Napoleonic Wars and the peace treaties arrived at by the Congress of Vienna. Topic: 19th century. In the 18th and 19th centuries, the textile industry flourished again in Ghent. Leven Bowens, having smuggled the industrial and factory machine plans out of England, introduced the first mechanical weaving machine on the European continent in 1800. The Treaty of Ghent, negotiated here and adopted on Christmas Eve 1814, formally ended the War of 1812 between Great Britain and the United States the North American phase of the Napoleonic Wars. After the Battle of Waterloo, Ghent and Flanders, previously ruled from the House of Habsburg in Vienna as the Austrian Netherlands, became a part of the United Kingdom of the Netherlands with the Northern Dutch for 15 years. In this period, Ghent established its own university 1816 and a new connection to the sea 1824 After the Belgian Revolution, with the loss of port access to the sea for more than a decade, the local economy collapsed and the first Belgian trade union originated in Ghent. In 1913 there was a world exhibition in Ghent. As a preparation for these festivities, the St. Peter's railway station was completed in 1912. Topic: 20th century. Ghent was occupied by the Germans in both world wars, but escaped severe destruction. The life of the people and the German invaders in Ghent during World War One is described by H. Wandt in Et Appenleben T. Gent. In World War II, the city was liberated by the British Seventh Desert Rats Armored Division and local Belgian fighters on the 6th of September 1944. Topic: Geography. After the fusions of municipalities in 1965 and 1977, the city is made up of. Topic: Neighboring municipalities. Topic: Climate. The climate in this area has mild differences between highs and lows, and there is adequate rainfall year-round. According to the Köppen climate classification system, Ghent has a marine west coast climate, abbreviated CFB, on climate maps. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Demographics. Population Ghent is home to a large number of people of foreign origin and immigrants. From the 2018 census, it was concluded that 33.5% of the inhabitants have roots outside of Belgium and 14.5% have a non-Belgian nationality. This figure could be much higher, seeing as though the Belgian government only takes into account a person's current or previously held nationality or that of the parents. There is a large concentration of immigrants and their descendants from Turkey, North and Sub-Saharan Africa, Asia and Eastern Europe. 
Projections indicate that Ghent will become a majority minority city by 2040. A lot of neighborhoods already have a majority of inhabitants that are of foreign origin, such as Sluzik and Tollhausham, Brugsa Port, Blumikenswijk, Midda and Rabat. Other notable neighborhoods with almost a majority are Damport, Lederberg and NIEUW Gent. Tourism Architecture Much of the city's medieval architecture remains intact and is remarkably well preserved and restored. Its center is a car-free area. Highlights are the St. Barvo Cathedral with the Ghent altarpiece, the Belfry, the Gravenstein Castle, and the splendid architecture along the old Grasley Harbour. Ghent has established a blend between comfort of living and history, it is not a city museum. The city of Ghent also houses three begwinages and numerous churches including St. Jacob's Church, St. Nicholas Church, St. Michael's Church and St. Stephanus. In the 19th century Ghent's most famous architect, Louis Roland, built the University Hall Aula, the Opera House and the main courthouse. Highlights of modern architecture are the university buildings the Birkentoren or Book Tower by Henry van der Velde. There are also a few theatres from diverse periods. The Beguinages, as well as the Belfry and adjacent Cloth Hall, were recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites in 1998 and 1999. The Zebrastraat, a social experiment in which an entirely renovated site unites living, economy and culture, can also be found in Ghent. Campo Santo is a famous Catholic burial site of the nobility and artists. Museums Important museums in Ghent are the Museum voor Schoen Kunsten Museum of Fine Arts, with paintings by Hieronymus Bosch, Peter Paul Rubens, and many Flemish masters, the SMAK or Steedlijk Museum voor Actuele Kunst City Museum for Contemporary Art, with works of the 20th century, including Joseph Boyce and Andy Warhol, and the Design Museum Gent with masterpieces of Victor Horta and Le Corbusier. The Wee Van Allen House of the Allen family was originally a beginage and is now a museum for folk art where theatre and puppet shows for children are presented. The Museum voor Industrielle Archaeologie en Textiel or MIAT displays the industrial strength of Ghent with recreations of workshops and stores from the 1800s and original spinning and weaving machines that remain from the time when the building was a weaving mill. The Ghent City Museum, Stads Museum, abbreviated STAM, is committed to recording and explaining the city's past and its inhabitants, and to preserving the present for future generations. Topic: <laughs> Restaurants and culinary traditions. In Ghent and other regions of East Flanders, bakeries sell a donut-shaped bun called a mastel, plural. Mastethlen, which is basically a bagel. Mastethlen are also called St. Hubert bread because on the Saints' feast day, which is the 3rd of November, the bakers bring their batches to the early mass to be blessed. Traditionally, it was thought that blessed Mastethlen immunized against rabies. Other local delicacies are the praline chocolates from local producers such as Leonidas, the Cubidans or Noiseeks noses, cone-shaped purple jelly-filled candies, babelutton, babelas, hard butterscotch-like candy, and of course, on the more fiery side, the famous tirontaine, a hot but refined mustard that has some affinity to French Dijon mustard. Stovray is a classic Flemish meat stew, preferably made with a generous addition of brown Trappist strong abbey beer and served with French fries. Waterzui is a local stew originally made from freshwater fish caught in the rivers and creeks of Ghent, but nowadays often made with chicken instead of fish. It is usually served nouvelle cuisine style, and will be supplemented by a large pot on the side. The city promotes a meat-free day on Thursdays called Donderdag Vegidag with vegetarian food being promoted in public canteens for civil servants and elected councillors, in all city-funded schools, and promotion of vegetarian eating options in town through the distribution of veggie street maps. 
This campaign is linked to the recognition of the detrimental environmental effects of meat production, which the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has established to represent nearly one-fifth of global greenhouse gas emissions. Ghent has the world's largest number of vegetarian restaurants per capita. The traditional confectionery is the Cubidon, also known as Noiseeks or Little Noses. These are conical sweets with a soft center, usually raspberry, but other flavors can be found on the many street stalls around the city. Between 2011 and 2015, a feud between two local vendors made international news. Topic. Festivities The city is host to some big cultural events such as the Gentse Feasten, I Love Techno in Flanders Expo, the 10 Days Off Musical Festival, the International Film Festival of Ghent with the World Soundtrack Awards and the Gent Festival Van Vlaanderen. Also, every five years, an extensive botanical exhibition takes place in Flanders Expo in Ghent, attracting numerous visitors to the city. The Festival of Flanders had its 50th celebration in 2008. In Ghent it opens with the Odegan City festivities that takes place on the second Saturday of September. Some 50 concerts take place in diverse locations throughout the medieval inner city and some 250 international artists perform. Other major Flemish cities hold similar events, all of which form part of the Festival of Flanders Antwerp with Laus Polyphoniae, Bruges with Festival, Brussels with Clara Festival, Limburg with Basilica, Mechelen and Brabant with Novacento and Transit. The city of Ghent will co-host the 2020 World Choir Games together with the city of Antwerp. Organized by the Interkultur Foundation, the World Choir Games is the biggest choral competition and festival in the world. Topic: <laughs> Nature. The numerous parks in the city can also be considered tourist attractions. Most notably, Ghent boasts a nature reserve, Borgoyen 230 hectare, and a recreation park, 87 hectares. Topic: <inaudible> Economy. <inaudible> the port of Ghent, in the north of the city, is the third largest port of Belgium. It is accessed by the ghent turnusen Canal, which ends near the Dutch port of Turnusen on the western Scheldt. The port houses, among others, large companies like ArcelorMittal, Volvo Cars, Volvo Trucks, Volvo Parts, Honda, and Stora Enso. The Ghent University and a number of research-oriented companies, such as Ablinks, Innergenetics, Crop Design and BioCropScience, are situated in the central and southern part of the city. As the largest city in East Flanders, Ghent has many hospitals, schools and shopping streets. Flanders Expo, the biggest event hall in Flanders and the second biggest in Belgium, is also located in Ghent. Tourism is becoming a major employer in the local area. Transport As one of the largest cities in Belgium, Ghent has a highly developed transport system. Road By car the city is accessible via two motorways. The E40 connects Ghent with Bruges and Ostend to the west, and with Brussels, Leuven and Liege to the east. The E17 connects Ghent with Saint Nicolas and Antwerp to the north, and with Kortrijk and Lille to the south. In addition, Ghent also has two ringways. The R4 connects the outskirts of Ghent with each other and the surrounding villages, and also leads to the E40 and E17 roads. The R40 connects the different downtown quarters with each other and provides access to the main avenues. Rail The municipality of Ghent comprises five railway stations Gent St. Peter's Station, an international railway station with connections to Bruges, Brussels, Antwerp, Kortrijk, other Belgian towns and Lille. The station also offers a direct connection to Brussels Airport. 
Gent Damport Station, an intercity railway station with connections to Sint Niklaas, Antwerp, Kortrijk, and Eeklo. Gent Brugge Station, a regional railway station in between the two main railway stations, Sint Peters and Damport. Wundelgem Station, a regional railway station with connections to Eeklo once an hour. Drongen Station, a regional railway station in the village of Drongen with connections to Bruges once an hour. Topic: Public transport. Ghent has an extensive network of public transport lines operated by De Line. Topic: Trams. Line 1, Flanders Expo, St. Peter's Station, Karenmarkt City Centre, Wundelgem, Evergem. Line 2, Svinard Bibliothek, St. Peter's Station, Zonestraat City Centre, Brabant Darm, Zoud, Mela Liu, views of Line 21 and 22 as of May 2017. Line 4, UZ, St. Peter's Station, Mida, Karenmarkt City Centre, Zoud, Moscow. Line 21, Svinard Bibliothek, St. Peter's Station, Zonestraat City Centre, Zoud, Mela Liu, fused into Line 2. Line 22, Kuta, Bielokhof, St. Peter's Station, Zonestraat City Centre, Zoud, Gentbrugge, fused into Line 2. Topic: <laughs> Buses. Line 3, Mariakirk, Karenmarkt City Centre, Damport, Gentbrugge, formerly a trolleybus line. See picture below. Line 5, Van Beverenplein, St. Jacobs, City Centre, Zoud, Heuvelport, NIEUW Gent. Line 6, Watersportbahn, Zoud, Damport, Müllersteed, Wundelgem, Mariakirk. Line 8, AZ St. Lucas, St. Jacobs, City Centre, Zoud, Heuvelport, Artveldpark. Line 9, Mariakirk, Malham, St. Peter's Station, Lederberg, Gentbrugge. Line 17 18th, Drongen, Malham, Karenmarkt, City Centre, Damport, Ostaka. Line 38 39th, Blamirsen, Eckerdam, Karenmarkt, City Centre, Damport, Sintermansberg. Apart from the city buses mentioned above, Ghent also has numerous regional bus lines connecting it to towns and villages across the province of East Flanders. All of these buses stop in at least one of the city's regional bus hubs at either St. Peter's Station, Damport Station, Zoud, or Rabat. International buses connecting Ghent to other European destinations are usually found at the Damport station. A couple of private bus companies such as Eurolines, Megabus and Flixbus operate from the Damport bus hub. Buses to and from Belgium's second airport, Brussels South Airport Charleroi, are operated by Flipco, and can be found at the rear exit of the St. Peter's station. Cycling. <inaudible> 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 Ghent has the largest designated cyclist area in Europe, with nearly 400 kilometres (250 miles) of cycle paths and more than 700 one-way streets, where bikes are allowed to go against the traffic. It also boasts Belgium's first cycle street, where cars are considered guests and must stay behind cyclists. Topic: Sports. In the Belgian first football division Ghent is represented by KAA Gent, who became Belgian football champions for the first time in its history in 2015. Another Ghent football club is KRC Gent Zeehaven, playing in the Belgian fourth division. A football match at the 1920 Summer Olympics was held in Ghent. The Six Days of Ghent, a six-day track cycling race, is held annually, taking place in the Kuipke Velodrome in Ghent. In road cycling, the city hosts the start and finish of the Omloop Het Nieuwsblad, the traditional opening race of the Cobbled Classics season. It also lends its name to another Cobbled Classic, Gent Wevelgem. Although the race now starts in the nearby city of Dienza, the city hosts an annual athletics IAAF event in the Flanders Sports Arena, the Indoor Flanders Meeting. Two time Olympic champion Hicham El Garouj set a still standing world record of 3 minutes 48 seconds and 45 milliseconds in the mile run in 1997. The Flanders Sports Arena was host to the 2015 Davis Cup final between Belgium and Great Britain. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Notable people. Saint Bavo, patron saint of Ghent, 589 to 654. Saint Levinus of Ghent, 580 to 657. Henry of Ghent, scholastic philosopher, c. 1217 to 1293. Jacob van Artveld, statesman and political leader, c. 1290 to 1345. John of Gaunt, first Duke of Lancaster, 1340 to 1399. Jan van Eyck, painter, c. 1385 to 1441. Hugo van der Goes, painter, c. 1440 to 1482. Alexander Agricola, Franco-Flemish composer of the Renaissance, 1445–1446 to 15 August 1506. Jacob Obrecht, composer of the Renaissance, c. 1457 to 1505. Pedro de Gante, Franciscan missionary in Mexico, c. 1480–1572, Charles V, Holy Roman Emperor, Carol V, Charles Quint, 1500–1558, Cornelius Canus, composer of the Renaissance, music director for the Chapel of Charles V in the 1540s to 1550s, Daniel Heinsius, scholar of the Dutch Renaissance, 1580–1655, Caspar de Crea, painter, 1582–1669, Jos Boutmy, composer, organist and harpsichordist, 1697–17. 79, Franz de Potter, writer, 1834 to 1904. Jan Franz Willems, writer, 1793 to 1846. Joseph Gislaine, physician, 1797 to 1860. Hippolyte Metdepenningen, lawyer and politician, 1799 to 1881. Louis XVIII of France was exiled in Ghent during the Hundred Days in 1815. Charles John Segers, Jesuit clergyman and missionary, 1839 to 1886. Victor Horta, Art Nouveau architect. 1861 to 1947 Morris Maeterlinck poet playwright essayist recipient of the Nobel Prize in Literature 1862 to 1949 Franz Renz writer 1805 to 1874 Leo Bakeland chemist and inventor of Bakelite 1863 to 1944 Pierre Louise poet and romantic writer 1870 to 1925 Marta Boll feminist 1877 to 1956 Carol van der Woestenay writer 1878 to 1929, Corneille Jean-François Hamans, physiologist and recipient of the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine, 1892 to 1968, Gustav van der Woestenay, painter, 1881 to 1947, Suzanne Lila, essayist, novelist, and playwright, 1901 to 1992, Willy de Klerk, liberal politician and European Commissioner, 1927 to 2011, Jacques Roger, former president of the IOC, born 1942. Patrick Serchu, Belgian track cyclist, born 1944. Gerard Mortier, Belgian opera director, born 1943. Solwax and Too Many DJs, electronic rock band headed by David and Stephen De Wael. Gabriel Rees, musician, born 1978. Kedrick Van Brantegem, athlete, born 1979. Bradley Wiggins, British cyclist, born 1980. Kevin De Bruyne, professional footballer, born 1991. Xavier Henry, shooting guard, small forward for the NBA's Los Angeles. Lakers, born 1991. Gail M. Wise, Olympic gymnast, born 1991. Tish Benut, cyclist, born 1994. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International relations. Topic: <laughs> 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 Twin towns, sister cities. Ghent is twinned with Topic See also List of mayors of Ghent